Oh, friends, you're not gonna believe the news I have for you today. You're gonna wanna hold on to your hat. Hey guys, how is it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the incredible breakthrough that we just saw. We just saw Dr. Yaffe and Dr. David Williams, two medical bureaucrats, as I like to say, they just publicly admitted, they didn't think that they were being recorded or being filmed before a press conference at 3 p.m. I believe this was on Monday. They didn't think they were being filmed. We've caught them on film. I've got a video on Instagram to show you here. Also, in the beginning of this video, you will see that you got that warning telling you that we have to censor everything we talk about in this video because I can't say anything that contradicts the official medical opinion of COVID-19 or I get in trouble for it. I actually get a strike on my channel and the video gets removed. Funny how that works. I thought YouTube was a free speech platform where anybody could say anything as long as it wasn't hateful or it wasn't discriminating against a certain race or ethnicity. Like this is just free speech. I'm talking about the coronavirus and how the restrictions don't make sense and apparently that's offensive to some people or it's hurtful or harmful or misleading but I'm providing truthful information that isn't a lie so hmm, funny how that works anyways let's dive into this video and let's watch it I don't know why I bring all these papers I never look at them well, when you give me numbers I do I go oh, oh, oh. I, that. Did you that? <laughs> I just say whatever they write down for me that's why you're <laughs> Did you hear what she said there? She says, I don't know why I bring all these papers. I never read them. Do you want to, do you want to hear it again? Well, let's play it again. Let's play it again. I don't know why I bring all these papers. I never look at them. I don't know why I bring all these papers. I never read them. <laughs> your job, your job as the medical officer of health of this province is to read those papers. And you, and, and you can't be bothered. You can't be bothered to read the papers that somebody has prepared for you. You make over a quarter of a million dollars. I'll post her salary on the screen, by the way. This is Dr. Barbara Yaffe. She makes over a quarter of a million dollars a year. She's a bureaucrat. She doesn't care if she closes your business. She doesn't care if small businesses are wiped out in this province because she doesn't care. She makes a quarter of a million dollars. She lives in a comfortable house. She has everything she needs. She doesn't care what she does to you. And I also, I couldn't get over the fact, I couldn't get over the fact that she said, I just say whatever they tell me to say. So you're the medical officer of health and you're supposed to be the one that makes the decision, but you just said in that video, I say whatever they tell me to say. <laughs> like, if you think that this pandemic is still real and you still think that these medical experts, so-called medical experts, I call them government bureaucrats, if you still think they're looking in your best interests, you need to wake up. You really need to wake up and smell the roses and actually start seeing what's going on here because it's just a scam. It's a scam. It's a case-demic. All we're talking about is cases. How many deaths? And where were they? Where were they in the province? Were they in a long-term care facility? You know, where are there young people dying? You know, is there transmission occurring in gyms? Like, none of this information is being put forward and it's being deliberately withheld from us because they know, they know that the deaths are happening in the long-term care facilities and the deaths are happening in people over 80 years old with more than three comorbid comorbidities. I can't even say comorbidities. Let's look at uh, Dr. David Williams' salary. Let's see what this government bureaucrat is making. So according to this page, this is from the Globe and Mail, this government bureaucrat or medical officer of health, if you will, makes $772,000. $772,000. Call it 773000 dollars That's not including benefits. That's his salary. That's his base salary. They begged him to stay because he was such a gem and they couldn't let him go. So he's probably getting a bonus on top of that, on top of that salary. So probably $800,000 after you factor in the bonus and the benefits. So he's making almost a million dollars a year to sit at a table and read numbers. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There are people out there that don't even make $25,000 a year. 
and you're making 773. It's just disgraceful. It really is. Friends, that's all I have to say. It's just, I, I've got nothing else to say other than that. Like, that is the bottom line. If you cannot see what's wrong here, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to provide you with. But that's all I've got to say in this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm sorry I don't make very vid many videos about travel or vlogs anymore. What content do I create, to be honest with you? Because these bureaucrats just control our lives at the moment. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. You know what to do. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye, guys.